everyone, I'm Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and welcome back to my channel where we talk about frugal living, minimalism, and decluttering. I am a Kansas farm girl raised by Depression era parents who taught me so much about saving money and living frugally. And I like to share some of that with you and get some good discussion going where we can help each other. So today we are going to talk about getting out of debt and staying out of debt. So let's get started. One thing I would like for you to think about is if you are in debt, when are you planning on getting out and how are you planning on staying out of debt? Those are two questions that you think would go together, but they really don't. So we have to put some thought into not only getting out of debt, but staying out of debt once we get those balances down to zero. Those little purchases, like the $3, the $6, the $10, those are the ones that actually keep us in debt. Many times we think it's those huge purchases, and trust me, those don't help a lot either because they take a long time to pay off. But those little tiny amounts are what keeps our balances up or keeps our checking account down. And they're sneaky. We don't really think that they amount to that much, but they do make a huge difference because there are way more of them than there are of those huge purchases that we put so much thought into before we actually make them. Can you treat yourself in a way that doesn't cost money? That is a great way to think about how to get out of debt and stay out of debt. Those little treats that we provide for ourselves, whatever they are, are things that, again, sneak up on us because we feel like we deserve them and like we need a pick-me-up. And then we realize later all those little pick-me-ups are keeping us in bondage to our debt and to our jobs. One thing to think about when you're getting ready to purchase something, even those small purchases, is would my debt-free self buy this? If I had a clean slate, if I owed nothing, would I think twice about buying this? Would I think twice about spending this money? Because again, if you are not handing cash to someone, sometimes it's real easy to feel like it's not really affecting you that much. But then when that bill comes in later, you realize that it did affect you. But it's a mindset that they give to us when they give us those debit cards and credit cards. When we don't see that cash passing hands, it's real easy to not feel like it's real. So think about whether or not your debt-free self would want to dirty up your clean slate by making that purchase. Look at items that you can control. Look at experiences that you can have instead of a tangible item that you pay money for. And remember that even though we are going through this process, we can be good to ourselves. It doesn't always require us spending money on ourselves to be good to ourselves. Discipline is choosing between what you want and what you want most. And I believe that also goes for frugality. Frugality is deciding between what you want and what you want most. Lou Holtz said that without self-discipline, success is impossible. So think about that for a moment, self-discipline. Frugality is all about that, isn't it? And it's something that we work hard on. We work hard on making decisions about whether or not something is worth our time, worth our money, worth being in debt for, 
worth saving for. It takes a lot of self-discipline to live that lifestyle. But once you get it going, it is so easy because your mind just thinks like that. It just thinks like, do I want to dirty my slate up or do I want this that bad to set myself back another $10? And this isn't about a competition because you actually become better when you compete with yourself. You become bitter when you compete with others. So look at your decisions. Are they keeping you in debt? Are your decisions keeping you out of debt? Would your decisions be different whether you were in debt or out of debt? I think that bridge between those two have to be solid. It has to be solid. Those same decisions that got you out of debt are the same decisions that keep you out of debt once you get there. Living in the moment, thinking about what you're doing, preparing, planning, and enjoying the fruits of your labor are what this is all about. Because working so hard to get out of debt is hardly worth it if we don't stay out of debt. I know there's been times where maybe we have got that credit card balance to zero. And then we thought, wow, now I can go buy this because I don't owe anything. It's important to remember that many times we will feel like we have the money when really we just have the credit. And having the credit is not the same as having the money because we still have to pay for that five years down the line, 10 years down the line. It isn't the same. And once we learn that and keep that in the back of our minds as we're going forward, getting out of debt and staying out of debt work hand in hand. So I hope this has been encouraging to you. No matter where you're at in this journey, I wish you the absolute best. We can do this, guys. As long as we stay on here and encourage each other, we can do this. So I hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.